Hey, my name's Paul Pettifer, and today is Good Friday. Last year on Good Friday, I stood at uh, 2712 Lake Street, uh, which is uh, the intergalactic headquarters for Laundry World and for the City Church. And I stood with cars running behind me, and I, I opened up this video camera, and I just spoke a few words that were on my heart that day. And the few words were that sometimes the very worst day of our lives turns out to be the best day and my daddy was in a nursing home and he had uh, he was old he's 84 years old and that night me and uh, two of my brothers went to see him and um, actually standing there at his bedside for about an hour maybe longer and um, for a moment I thought maybe it was gonna be his last breath he breathed in and there was a really long pause and I thought, well, I don't know. Daddy was very sick. He was just getting old, and he had dementia and end stage kind of that, and, and he was still joyful. But and then he breathed again, like, oh, well, there you go. And uh, right about right after we left, half hour after we left, my daddy breathed his last. And it's fitting for me that Clay Pettifer. By the way, you can check out Dad's life, ClayPettifer.com. You can just click from wherever you are and find it pretty easy from uh, my website and stuff. That Clay's life, you know, he was born again in Christ, right? He, he, he found out who Jesus really was as an old man, age 77. And I believe in miracles that an old guy set in his ways could have something birthed inside of him new, which is life, real whole life that comes from Jesus. So I stood in front of uh, Lake Street and stood in front of this camera and said sometimes the worst day in your life turns out to be the best day sometimes the day you get busted the day you get found out the day you get fired the day you file bankruptcy the day your wife leaves you can turn out to be the best day because it strips away whatever we were whatever we were keeping in front of our hearts and a lot of times then it allows us to be real with god and say i am a needy person and i don't have enough to overcome the problem of my own sin or wow and so on Good Friday we celebrate something awesome which is that God knows all of the stuff we just said that you and I don't have enough and he sent enough for us and Jesus was a real dude he lived a life and he took up the cross which is just the payment for sin that every person on earth deserves that's me, that's you. And when Jesus' followers, man, they watched him take this awful beating, such injustice there has never been, and they watched him breathe his last and die. And just so no one was fooled, the Roman governor said, go make sure he's dead, Pilate. And so they, uh, Romans knew that, that uh, they knew what it looked like to properly execute someone. That was their job, and sure enough, Jesus was dead. They poked a spear into his side, and blood and water flowed out, and Jesus didn't flinch because he was dead, and they put him in the tomb. And then his followers said, what is up? We spent three years with Jesus, and now he's dead. And then they went home and didn't know what to do. And on Good Friday, we get the chance to see Jesus crucified, put in the ground, executed, and then we wait. And kind of I've been learning how to smoke meat, right? So when smoking some ribs, you got to put them on the grill, and then you've got to wait. And on Sunday, we're going to discover what happens when God's involved, when Jesus shows up, and we wait. We take the death that comes to us because of our own sin, and we get Jesus in the mix, and then something happens that is not religious at all. So what we're talking about here is a non-religious Easter. What is Easter? It does not have to do with attending things and, and the kind of words you say and your ceremony. Those are all good things. I'm not fussing about them. I'm just saying Easter is apart and separate from our religious activities. So if you don't have a place to check out what Easter's about, right, and it's Sunday, something happened on Sunday, Jesus said it was going to happen, but his followers were not getting it. They had forgotten what Jesus had said. If you don't have a place to, uh, to worship or to investigate who Jesus is to figure out what non-religious Easter looks like, what's real life Easter look like, what is it about, then uh, please come and worship with us at the City Church.
and find out what this non-religious thing, what, it, something happened on Sunday and it was a real event. It wasn't just a religious activity. That's what we're going to explore and I'd love to be with you. Stellar Beans, 1045 Sunday morning. Sometimes the worst day in your life is the best day because we get an opportunity to open up and see what really is underneath and what God has to say, what kind of life happens when we let God have a say in the middle of our worst day. I'm Paul Pettifer. I love my daddy Clay and his first anniversary of his death and I love Jesus and the city should be different. Rock on.